Drax coal-fired power station in the UK, which is the, our biggest power station. So one was the 2005, no, 2006 climate camp, which uh, I mentioned and myself cycled to as part of bicycleology and tried to encourage people to come along and fix people's bikes along the way and, and all that kind of nice stuff. <laughs> um, a year later, in 2007, about 12 people, some of whom I know personally, but most of whom I've never even seen, got on the train that delivers the coal to the power station by kind of waving it down railway children style <laughs> by standing on the track and then climbing on and then shoveling all the coal out of the train onto the track. Unfortunately, no one pointed out they could have pressed the button that releases all the coal. <laughs> um, so, of course, they all got arrested and taken to the police station and they had a, 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 all kinds of bail conditions which meant they couldn't go to all kinds of places and you know, eventually they have this big trial which gets in the media and stuff and some of them get kind of sentences which aren't really that bad really, you know, they can be kind of quite good. Following on from that, people decide that maybe there are, there are similar things that should happen at other coal-fired power stations. So I said three things that happened at Drax, actually the third one wasn't Drax, it was Ratcliffe on Saw power station which is in Nottingham. At least that's my understanding. Who knows? It could have been anyone because the action, the action didn't take place. There was an action that did take place at Ratcliffe on Saw, which I went up to and I got there a bit late. And people had tried to surround it and stop it, and some people had broken in and things that the peace movement's been doing for years, you know, breaking into Fairford and all those and Greenham and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So people breaking into this coal fired power station for this, this similar reason. But this time, the idea was that they were going to do the same thing that happened at Drax, get on the conveyor belt, but it was going to be the conveyor belt that feeds the coal into the furnace, basically. And this didn't happen because um. and there was an infiltrator, Mark Kennedy, or Mark Stone, mm. who knows what his real name is, um, who was romantically involved with people in Nottingham. You know, he'd been through several girlfriends. And as a result of, of, of him being exposed, a huge number of other people in the UK environmental movement have also been exposed. And, and yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I think Frank's given the best answer to that, what we do about that problem, which is to say we just... Yeah, we'd be as sensible as we can be. There's lots of resources out there for, you know, what to do if you suspect someone, how to, you know, avoid these kind of situations arising. But at the end of the day, the, the, the important issue, it's not like, oh, we're going to get surveilled, so let's not do something to save wild places for future generations, you know. Um, but yeah, it's worth thinking about. And, you know, if you read about the Mark Kennedy story, I know people who've been personally affected by that, who, who knew people who knew people, and it, it's pretty horrible mm -hmm. that they would go to those events, but, that's, yeah, but they, they will. <laughs> I've got the other films hopefully lined up, so are we happy to do that? And we can carry on the discussion afterwards. Yeah, a little break, definitely, because it'll take me a while to set up, so get yourself a cup of tea.